Hey guys, welcome back. This video we are going to talk about how to create a Jenkins pipeline for building the Docker image and uploading the Docker image into Nexus Docker registry. So this is the use case. I do have my project set up in uh, GitHub or Bitbucket. So this is my uh, project. As you can see here, this is a PHP application. Okay, so this is the uh, sample code. Okay, so this is going to print this message. Okay, I have already dockerized the application as you can see here. Okay, so this is the Docker file. I have already dockerized that. And what we are going to do is, we are going to create a Jenkins pipeline and that is going to check out the code and then it's going to build the Docker image and we will be uploading the Docker image into Nexus Docker registry, right? Once the uh, image is uploaded into Docker registry and we are going to run a uh, container uh, which is running inside the uh, Docker image, right? We are going to do that in Jenkins itself. So this is what we are going to do in this particular video. Awesome. So let's get started. This is my website folks, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. If you look at the pre-request, Yes, I do have Jenkins up and running. I do have Nexus up and running. As you can see here, this is my uh, Jenkins, okay? And this is my Nexus, all right? I also have uh, created a Docker registry inside my uh, Nexus as well, as you can see here. See it? This is the uh, Docker private repo, which, which I had created. If you would like to know how to configure Nexus to host uh, Docker images, you can click on this link, okay? I also have a video on this as well in my YouTube channel. So you can definitely go through this in order to configure uh, Nexus to host uh, Docker images, okay? All right. And then you also need to uh, make sure uh, you have opened up port 80 as well because we are going to access uh, the Docker container, right, uh, which is exposing on, you know, port 80, all right, great. So let's get started. So what we need to do is, yes, we need to uh, go to Jenkins uh, and then create credential for accessing Nexus, right? So how would you do that? So let's go here, go to dashboard and manage Jenkins and manage credentials. And as you can see here, I have already created an entry for uh, connecting to uh, Nexus, right? So this is my Nexus uh, admin username and then this is the Nexus uh, admin password. And this is the ID I would like to have, Nexus, right? Okay, so I have already uh, taken care of that. Okay, and then the next step is to create a pipeline. All right, so let's get started. So let me go ahead and then click on the new item. I'm going to say my PHP app Docker pipeline job. Click on pipeline and say OK. Let me start my pipeline here. So we are going to start with checkout uh, stage. So as you know, my source code is in uh, Bitbucket, right? So how can I check out the code? So let's use a snippet generator. Okay, so I'm going to copy this URL. Okay, since this is the public repo, you don't have to put in the credential. So click on this one. So that's it, right? That's our pipeline script. Put that over here. Perfect. Okay, and I want to say agent any. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and then run this stage. Just want to make sure everything is good. The structure is good and everything. Fantastic. All right, so we were able to check out the code. So let's move on to the next stage, which is nothing but um, 
building the Docker image, right? So I'm going to say stage build image steps and then script. Okay, so this is where we are going to write code for uh, building the Docker image. So basically what I'm going to do is, again, this is a very simple code. So let's copy this. Okay, and then I'm going to declare whatever we need in order to build the Docker image, right? So all we need is this information, right? So I will explain you what I'm actually doing here. Okay, so this is going to be the image name. Since this is the PHP application, I want to uh, keep it like that. And then if you see here, uh, this is our credential ID, right? So remember, we did create a Nexus credential and this was the ID we gave. And then this is going to be your uh, Nexus URL, right? And if you do see here, yes, our uh, Docker uh, private repo is going to be running on 8085. Right? Even though Nexus is running on 8081, uh, we had uh, configured to host a uh, Docker uh, registry on 8085. Right? So if you look at my instruction, uh, this is how I have done it. Okay? So make sure you also open up 8085 in Nexus uh, security firewall room. Okay? Fantastic. So that's it, right? And then this is the image, you know, uh, sorry, this is the variable I want to store a Docker image on, okay? So that's it, right? So this should uh, build the Docker image. So why don't we go ahead and then say apply, save. Let's run the step. Let's run the pipeline. Wow, see here? Now we were able to successfully build the Docker image. See here? So we were able to read the Docker file and then we were successfully able to build the uh, Docker image. Okay, fantastic. And then the next step is what? We need to upload the Docker image into Nexus Docker registry, right? So that is our goal, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, write a next stage. I'm going to call that as upload into Nexus, all right, script block, fantastic. So let's look into the code, see here? So this is how we are going to upload into um, Nexus, right? So let me copy this code. So basically what I'm doing here is, if you do see here, the registry, right? So that is nothing but our Nexus uh, information here, right? So this is our Nexus uh, uh, URL where we can upload uh, the Docker images, right? So, and then, you know, so I'm mentioning the protocol. So that's how it is going to be. And then the registry credential ID, right? That is nothing but this one, right? And then, you know, I want to push the latest Docker image. So this is how, you know, you're going to say, it, right? Because the image, is, uh, image has been already built here, right? So that's all over here, right? So that's how you can upload um, image into Nexus uh, registry. So let me go ahead and then say, apply, save, run build now. Okay, so it is currently running. Okay, so I do have some issue here. Let's see. So this is my Nexus URL. Let me make sure I do have it correctly. Oh, this is wrong. So let's make sure that Yeah, this is wrong. So sorry, I need to update that. 
that would be the right URL. Okay, apply sales until now. Wow, fantastic. So basically, I had the wrong URL for uh, Nexus. As you can see now, uh, we were successfully able to build and then successfully able to tag and then upload the image into Nexus registry. And if you like to see it, uh, log in inside the Nexus. So this is my Nexus, right? So click on Docker private repo. Wow, see here. See here. So this is the image we have successfully uploaded, right? Fantastic. And then how can I run a container, right? How can I run container in order to access uh, the application, right? So let's go to pipeline. All you have to do is, um, you know, I have added a couple of stages. As you can see here, uh, this is going to stop the running container if there are any containers already running. And then this is going to run the container, right? As you can see here, we are mapping on port 80, right? And then this is the name of the uh, container I'm just giving. And then this is the URL, right? URL of the, uh, the name of the image, okay? So let's go ahead and then copy this. Okay, so like I mentioned, you know, we are stopping the uh, previous containers if they are running, if there are any running, and then we are going to uh, execute docker run command, right? Okay, so apply save, and then say build now. Wow, see here, we were successfully able to, right, any, this is going to stop any running containers and then this is going to spin up a new container. As you can see here, we are mapping to run on port 80. If you do see the Docker file, see here, we are exposing the Docker container on port 80 and then I would like to map it to run on port 80 itself, right? Awesome. So how can I access my container, which is actually running inside my Jenkins uh, EC2 instance? All I have to do is, uh, go to here and then copy the uh, DNS name of Jenkins and make sure you are um, Make sure you know you have opened port 80 as Well, see here. So we have exposed port 80 in the security firewall rule. Okay, fantastic So now let's go ahead and then access Okay, so this is my public uh, DNS name and go to browser and just enter. Wow, see here, now we are able to access the application, the PHP application, which is running inside the Docker container, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can uh, create a Jenkins pipeline in order to automate uh, Docker image creation, as well as uploading the Docker image into Nexus Docker private registry. Awesome, thank you for watching my video guys.